Danny. We finished pre-season unbeaten. You must be happy with that. Yeah, it was uh, an amazing test today. Um, I think the game had everything, to be honest. It had, it had some great football. Um, we showed some defensive resilience. There's a bit of bite in it as well, a few tackles flying in. And yeah, from our perspective, they've, they've got some obviously some very good players. And it, yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better one to finish finish that sort of pre-season run. Of course, Brentford be a team that we know quite well, haven't played them a few times. So it was a good test, but an, an important one nonetheless. Yeah, and I think that with, with regards to them, that they, they're recruiting at another level now. They're a Premier League football club and, and that, that showed with some of the quality they had on the pitch. But fair play to our boys. I think we matched them pretty much throughout and we showed a lot of our own qualities as well. So, no, fantastic test. And as you said, I'm beating in pre-season. Listen, it doesn't matter who you play. Winning, winning and not losing is a habit. And so hopefully that, that continues. What was good about today was obviously <laughs> you had a number of young players and academy boys given the start, like Tommy and everyone like that. Alfie come on and Ellis as well. So it was good to see the, the new signings come on, the academy boys come on and the players are already here gel well today. Yeah, and do you know what? They come on and they all knew their roles, they knew their responsibilities, which shows what we're doing in training, working, uh, that understanding of how we want to play this year. And yeah, from out, that's pleasing. And it's nice to know that you can make those changes and they can come on and affect the performance. Jacob as well, opened the scoring with his first goal, re-signing for the club. Good for him to get off the sheet as well. Yeah, look, I, I think from our perspective, we, we've always rated Jacob. We didn't want to lose him when he left. Um, the situation was what it was then. And the, when we had the opportunity to bring him back, he suits the way we want to play. And uh, credit to him. And he's, he's got, I think he's got plenty of those to come. So uh, long may that continue. Corey also got another goal in pre-season as well, but it was the link-up play initially that was involving Jaden and then Tommy as well crossing the ball for him. It yeah, some great play down the left-hand side. Obviously, ends up on the right-hand side of the box and uh, he put it on the money, Tommy, to be fair. I thought he played really well uh, and he put it on the spot and I think it was harder to miss than score and uh, Corey did, did the job that he needs to do. Just a note on Corey, could have had a hat-trick today if it not been for a few offside decisions. Yeah, I, I don't know about the first offside that was given. The second one, he definitely wasn't offside. He was flagged for the nine. Um, he's flagged for Ibi and he's, he's given it against him. But listen, that, that's, that is what it is. But the, the most important thing for us is he put the ball in the back of the net. So we, we, we can't complain with that. Just talk about Ebby as well. Came on at half-time. What were your thoughts on his performance? Yeah, it was tough for him because we slightly changed the shape. And so the, the press that we've been working on, the defensive shape we've been working on, kind of it threw it out of sync a little bit because we've protecting a few players. So, but his work ethic was good. He showed some link-up play. A lovely little touch around the corner that put Toby in. So, no, look, he's, listen, he, he's going to be a good addition, a very good addition for us. Looking at the boys, obviously, that came on. Obviously, you had Ox who came on and started the game as well, playing at right wing back. We seem to have options in places and covering a number of places as well now. Yeah, we haven't got a big squad, but what we've got is we've got a group of players that have the ability to play in a multitude of different positions. And that's kind of, that. that's the, the model this year. Um, so, yeah, from our perspective, that, that makes it easier at times to make some tactical changes because you know that you haven't got a player who is he's, he's one-dimensional. Cody ended up playing as a number four. It's, it's not a problem. We've had, we've had uh, in pre-season training, we've had Ox playing as a, as a centre midfielder. He can play right wing back. We, Ellis can play with one off the top. He can play in the mid. We've got, we've got a multitude of players who can do different things, so it's good. Just word on Jaden as well. I thought he had a really good game today, sort of getting himself about really getting involved in the play today. He, he's one that will just keep growing. Um, hopefully not height-wise, because otherwise we could be in trouble. But like from a from a development perspective, he's he's learning the level, and I think that he's adapting quickly. He showed some he showed some great things today. There's still bits he needs to work on, but then I'd say that about quite a few of them. To be fair, there was a couple of times where we caused our own problems, but. What was impressive today was our recovery to stop that from actually becoming anything serious. Obviously, the news came out yesterday that Reese Miller, one of our young players, had gone out on loan. Just a quick word on on the decision there. On yeah, his, on listen, it. it's important Reese goes and gets football. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, it's no different than several of our others. They need to go and play games. They they almost were starved of a season of football, and that's hard when you're when you're in that development phase of your of your career. So it was a no-brainer for us. Obviously, um, he, he's had a spell there before didn't quite work how we wanted it to work. He's, he's, he's got a bit between his teeth. He's got a point to prove. He wants to go and show him. So, uh, good conversation with Spencer yesterday and, and yeah, it was done straight away. But with the young players, obviously the timing has to be right both for them and for the club and to make sure they can't do a job for us here beforehand. That's why that's why the clauses are in place. That's why the, the, the lengths of the loan sometimes are, are short because the, the provision is that if it, if it does work well for him and it works well for us, then that can be extended. If, he's, if he goes in there and scores 10 in eight, we can bring him back and get him involved with what we're going to do. But the, as I said, the most important thing for Reese and all the other lads that will end up going out on loan is they go and play games, they get minutes on the pitch, they experience what it's like to be in dressing rooms where the winning's all that matters. And that's that's a real key part of their development. 
preseason's over now. First game of the season next week, Chesterfield at home. Must be great to get that off and running. Yeah, look, we've got an interesting start to the season. I think, to put it politely, we've got a quite a tough one, but look, we're excited. We're really excited. The, the boys are buzzing for it. We can't wait. We're glad we, we, we've, we've enjoyed preseason, but we're glad it's over now. Then we can get down to business and we can get working. And yeah, we look forward to hosting Chesterfield on Saturday. Are you in the shop? Sign up below. Okay. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe. Oh.